back in the 90s, we had the Bosnian War. All the politicians were telling the people, hey, everything's fine, everything's fine. And about three days after they said everything was fine, they broke out into war. The people got isolated in the cities because the war was taking place around the city, so they couldn't venture out. Well, that meant they couldn't get any, any goods sent into the cities, but also they couldn't go out and go get firewood. So within three months, every tree within the city limits was cut down. Within six months, anything that was wood in elevators, stairs, furniture, anything that was wood was used for fuel. People don't realize how much wood a tent takes. It doesn't matter your size. You're looking at about four and a half cords of wood. Behind me, I have a, one of our passive solar heating windows. It's a, about 176 square feet. And on those crystal clear days outside, when it's really, really cold in the middle of the winter, you're, if you have your tent set up facing the south, southeast, the passive solar heating window will actually increase the temperature inside without a fire up to 70 degrees warmer inside than outside. It'll raise that ambient temperature. That passive solar window will help heat the structure in its passive. This is a passive survival system, whereas the wood is an active survival system. That will help keep you alive. It's silly to talk about thread on a structure that's as magnificent as this. You have basically two major options. You have a poly cotton with a UV inhibitor and you just have a straight polyester. But the reality is we use another American made product called Helios P and it's the thread. It's a PTFE thread. Helios P is used in extreme cases where you know you're going to be subjected to, to harsh weather conditions and you're going to be exposed over a long period of time. The polycotton, when it's exposed in sunlight, la I mean, continuous sunlight, will last really about a year and a half. And then you're gonna be down to about 20% of the strength or less. The polyester, you're 50% of your strength after five years. More likely than not, if you have a structure that's not made with a heavy duty thread, your fabric's gonna last longer than your thread is. And if your thread fails, it doesn't matter how long your fabric lasts your structure is going to come apart. The large earthquake over in Nepal decimated the country. We heard about it on the news probably for what, two, three weeks? And then it was over. One year later, 50% of the country still lived in a tent. We didn't hear about that part. Now where we live, there are fault lines all along the area. We have potential for great earthquakes. I mean, look at Oklahoma. Earthquakes are increasing every day, literally every day. And they're getting stronger and they're getting bigger. At some point, we, anywhere we live in these, these United States, or even in the world, at any day, a disaster could come that puts us in a tent. Now I've got five kids. My oldest is 10 right now. I'm not gonna put them under a tarp. And I'm not gonna rely on somebody else to come and try to give us shelter. It's just not gonna happen. Because if I'm in a tent, everybody else is in a tent. And in the areas that we live where there's hundreds of thousands of people, and you put us all in tents for a year, like they are in Nepal, I'm gonna give my kids the absolute best, give my wife the best that I can afford. And that's why we started this company. The nice thing about where we placed the stove jack is it puts the stove near the wall. Now, one of the things that happens in a dome, it is different than any other tent. 
we have a very high roof. It's 14 feet tall. Most people think, well, what do I do with all this space? You want that space and you want the, the height. And here's why. You put the stove on one side of the dome. You heat up that air. It comes up and it has a natural flow, goes up over the dome and cools off and starts falling on the other side. Now that begins to create a convective airflow. Heats up, cools off, comes down. Then it pulls it across, heats it up, and brings it down. If you actually put, or if you put a candle, just a candle flame in the center of the dome, and you light the, you have your wood stove up and you get it going, that candle will tip toward the stove. And the reason is because that air begins to circulate through. Domes are 40% more efficient than any other type of structure out there in terms of heating. You put the, the stove where we have designated for it to go, you will get a natural convective airflow through and it'll heat your entire structure. When you get into a survival situation, you've got to have a really robust shelter, and that's, that's a fact. So the fabric that we use is an American-made fabric called Shelterite. The reason why we chose it is because one, it is American made. Two, Shelterite has been the number one fabric for the past 40 years in the United States. It's a 1200 denier fabric that is a coated fabric rather than a laminated fabric. It means that this is a saturated fabric, a 60-40 split, 40 on the outside, 60 on the inside. The 40 on the outside allows it to withstand UV. It allows it to expand and contract through its life cycle. We understand that this product is fantastic. We know that there are structures that have this fabric on it that have been around for 25 years. We are comfortable with that kind of background. 